I toured some family-friendly, all-inclusive resorts with a group of fellow travel advisors in the greater Cancun, Mexico area this summer. And one of the main questions I sought to answer was, is it safe? Cancun, Mexico is generally considered a safe tourist destination. However, like any other popular tourist destination, it is important to exercise caution and take certain safety measures to ensure a safe and enjoyable trip. When I got off the airplane and into customs, there was a huge line of tourists passing through the checkpoint. This already helped me feel safe knowing that this many travelers were actively vacationing here in the Cancun area of Mexico. Stay informed. First, we'll take a look at the U.S. Department of State Travel Advisory website and read up on how it advises us there. Here on the travelstate.gov, we have the Mexico Travel Advisories. And the country summary is right here. So yes, there is a lot of danger to be had in the country of Mexico as a whole. But if you scroll down, you can see the states that you should not travel to, reconsider travel to, or just exercise increased caution. And that is where you will find Quintana Roo, which is where Cancun, Tulum, Playa del Carmen, and all of those popular locations are located, so we'll give that one a click. And here's what it says, Quintana Roo uh, exercise increased caution due to crime and kidnapping. Criminal activity and violence may occur in any location at any time, including popular tourist destinations. Travelers should maintain a high level of situational awareness, avoid areas where illicit activities occur, and promptly depart from potentially dangerous situations. U.S. citizens and LPRs have been victims of kidnapping. While not directed at tourists, shootings between rival gangs have injured innocent bystanders. Additionally, U.S. citizens have been victims of both nonviolent and violent crimes in tourist and non-tourist areas. However, there are no restrictions on travel for U.S. government employees. However, personnel are advised to exercise increased situational awareness after dark in downtown areas of Cancun, Tulum, and Playa del Carmen, and to remain in well-lit pedestrian streets and tourist zones. Enroll in STEP if you'd like to take some extra precautions. It's also advisable to register with your embassy's travel registration service so that they can contact you in case of any emergencies. From my experience touring and staying at the all-inclusive resorts, I felt extremely safe because I was in highly monitored tourist areas. Sticking to well-known and tourist populated areas such as the hotel zone and on-resort properties because these areas are typically well patrolled and have a higher level of security. As you can see, there are guard stations to each of these all-inclusive resorts with a security agent and a gate. Our driver must always check in with the gate agent to be allowed entry into each resort. There are also security cameras everywhere. Use reputable transportation. Utilize official taxis, registered transportation services, or ride-sharing apps rather than hailing random taxis from the street. This helps ensure your safety and minimizes the risk of scams or unsafe situations. An even better option would be to have me as your travel advisor reserve a reputable transportation service for you, like Amstar. Amstar provided all the transportation to and from the airport, from resort to resort, and even to activities we had scheduled, like our visit to Ishkaret Park. This helped us feel safe and stress-free, because we always knew we'd have a reliable and safe ride waiting for us. Be cautious with your belongings. Keep a close eye on your personal belongings, especially in crowded areas, tourist attractions, and public transportation. Store your valuable items safely in your room, hidden out of sight, like in the provided safes, and avoid displaying expensive jewelry or large amounts of cash. If you are arriving early and going to leave your luggage at the front desk, just make sure that all of your valuables, like jewelry, cash, passports, Medications, travel documents, technology like laptops, cameras, and phones are kept in a carry-on or backpack with you. Be sure to practice beach safety. Follow the instructions and warnings provided by lifeguards on the beaches. Be cautious of strong currents, obey posted signage, and avoid swimming alone or under the influence of alcohol. 
As you can see, public beaches are patrolled by the federales to help deter criminals from approaching tourists and locals alike. Um, so in terms of is Mexico safe, uh, I've already seen a ton of security guards just coming into this resort. Um, there was a ton of people at immigration at the airport going through the immigration. So whatever news stories you may have heard is not deterring people from coming here. The travel advisories issued for Mexico, at least for the Cancun area, are still pretty mellow. But the one thing I do always bring with me is one of these, which is a carbon monoxide detector. And I just bring the battery separate and then put the battery in when we get here. And then I just put this by my bed at night. So that way, if there is some sort of carbon monoxide leak, I'll know and I can go outside and call for help. Respect local laws and customs. Familiarize yourself with the local laws and customs of Mexico. Respect the culture and traditions of the people and avoid engaging in illegal activities. We did not venture outside of the tourist parks or the resort properties on our trip and were mostly out during the daytime. This highly minimized our exposure to potential criminals or kidnappers. It's important to note that like any other destination, isolated incidents of crime can occur in Cancun. However, by taking reasonable precautions and being aware of your surroundings, you can minimize any potential risks and enjoy a safe and memorable visit to Cancun. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video enjoyable or helpful in any way, please consider clicking the thumbs up button to give it a like and hitting subscribe so you don't miss future content about all about travel.